Hello everyone. My name is Jostro Meti from Bangalore, Department of Physics, Canara Excellence PU College, Kore Kumta. So today in this section, we are going to discuss few numericals or the problems which you can expect on your CET, NEET and JEE competitive examinations. So these are the questions which comes under the Newtonian mechanics. So if you ask where does this Newtonian mechanics comes means in your first PU physics syllabus after studying the kinematics so you have already aware about what is kinematics and after this kinematics we will study the dynamics dynamics and then under this dynamics the loss of motions or this Newtonian mechanics all this comes under the dynamics now what do you mean by this kinematics so before coming to the our problems we should have a, a proper basic uh, to decode the questions right well now kinematics means so this is the study of the motion see suppose in a plane in a surface plane surface one object is placed here and if you want to displace this motion from here to here okay so something should happen here simply the object will not move to uh, move from this place to this place right so without knowing the cause of motion without knowing the cause of motion simply we will just study the effects of motion under this kinematics so what do you mean by kinematics kinematics is the study of motion or study of effects of motion without knowing the cause that is important without knowing the cause now the dynamics dynamics is again the study of motion with knowing the cause so that is the difference between the kinematics and dynamics so here we will study the <coughs> motion of object and effects of the motions with knowing the cause for the motion so as i have already said see one object is placed here with certain mass m now if you want to move this object from here to the same object now it is displaced from this position to this position that means it is moved the motion is happened here so what is the cause behind this motion so on the motion aagbeku ant heladre alli eno ond prakriya nadibekagutte so illi yen madadaga the object will move from this position to that position so you have to apply something on this object then only the object will move from here to here am i right so what is that that is what we call it as the cause of motion ant heladu adike so cause of motion is in the sense it is something which made the object to move from this position to this position so while you study the causes of motion the first thing comes to our mind is nothing but we are when we apply the capital f is nothing but force when we apply force on this object that object will move from this position to this position do you agree or not yes so the major cause for the motion is nothing but force okay now we are coming to our point so under this force we are having certain types of forces right well so the first one we'll call it as contact force so what do you mean by contact force we'll study next non contact force weak forces nuclear forces all these are the different types of forces or major types of the forces okay so in the non contact forces you may get a certain types here again so the major one comes to mind is gravitational force isn't it so gravitational force is the non contact force so now you may get a idea what is non contact force 
so gravitational force is a force which is existing between two masses between two masses right so if this is the earth and here it is a some uh, object okay or uh, yeah any object you just consider one object with the certain mass m here now there will be a force of attraction between this object and the earth and that forces will be always acting towards the center of the earth and this force this attractive force is called as the gravitational force gravitational force right gravitational force now see there is a no contact between this object and this object so we will call it as non contact force gravitational force as a non contactual force then what will be the contact force obviously when two objects are in contact when two objects are in contact then there will be the force existing in between them is called as the contact force is called as the contact force now this object is in contact with the surface now the force existing between the surface and the object is called as the contact force right yes now this gravitational chapter entire you have one chapter itself in your first pu physics and after this electromagnetic force right electromagnetic force and there are some certain types of forces which you may find under the non contact force now we are not going to discuss about the not non contact forces weak forces and nuclear forces all this we are going to study in your second pu physics okay as of now i am discussing about the first pu physics right now we what i required is the contact forces so can you mention any types or the few example for the contact forces like this so the contact forces the majorly what comes to our mind is one is tensional force so those who have already studied the uh, laws of motion and work energy power chapters you may already aware about these forces okay one is contact forces then the second one we we'll call it as normal force so these are the forces which existing only when two objects are in contact are in contact so tensional force normal force and uh, frictional force frictional force okay and if you want the spring force these are the forces which you have studied in your first pu physics under the contact forces under the contact forces am i right yes so in today's section we are going to discuss all the problems which you are which we are going to solve is under normal force and the tensional force okay so so these are the problems which comes under the first view physics under dynamics under the newton mechanics we will study the contact forces and non contact forces majorly so in the contact forces we have certain types of forces and in this types of forces we are going to do the problems based on the tensional force and the normal force 